Story recapped here. Today I'm going to explain an adventure and drama movie called Strings. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. In the kingdom of Hebelon, a guilty king decides to take his own life. There has been a long war between them and the Zerits, and he has played a huge part in it. Because of this, he wants to die and free himself of guilt. Before he proceeds, he writes a note to his son, Hal Terra, saying that he'll be the next king, or in their world, he'll be the next Karo. Then, he tells Hal to make peace with the Zerits, but he must be vigilant around Nizo, the Karo's wicked brother, and Grok, his henchman. He also tells Hal to guard her sister, Karyajina, and he must protect her with his life and never leave her. After this, the Karo cuts his headstring, killing himself. However, the note never makes it to Hall because Nizo finds it first. Suddenly, Grok crawls from the ceiling and tells Nizo their time has come. With this, Nizo cuts off all of his brother's strings and makes it look like the Zerits assassinated him. He also ensures that Saro, the leader of the Zerits, takes the blame for the Karo's death. Nizo longs to rule Hebelon, and he'll do anything to keep the throne from Hall. Not long after, Grok destroys the Karo's note for his son. Elsewhere, Hall sleeps in his chambers, and Grok crawls on the walls, expressing his spite against the young prince. Suddenly, Hall wakes up, and Grok disappears. To his surprise, he sees Erito, the general, and he is informed of his father's death. Later on, he discovers the Karo's body, and Gina weeps before it. She tells Hall that the Zerits killed him and gestures at the wall where the enemy has placed their mark. Then, Gina tells Hall they've cut down all of the Karo's strings, and none of them are left. Seeing this, Nizo expresses concern and tells the guards to seal all the gates and exits. With this, the war has been waged. Hence, the people are to stay indoors, and no one can leave or enter Hebelon. The next day, Hall orders Erito to wear a Zerith mask and pretend to be Sorrow. He wants to beat him in a duel, but Erito thinks it's ridiculous. As Hall continues to throw his attacks, Erito tells him to stop, but he doesn't listen. Then, Erito accidentally cuts Hall's handstring, amputating him. Finally, Hall stops, and Erito reminds him that he's the next Karo, and the war against the Zerits is the general's task, not his. As Nizo listens to their conversation, he can't help but insult the idea of Hall becoming the next Karo. Later on, Hall sees his sister, who is mourning over their father's body. Gina asks him what happened to his hand, but the prince responds arrogantly, saying she should mind her own business. Suddenly, Nizo appears and expresses his grief upon his brother's death. Meanwhile, Erito chooses a new hand for Hall. There are a collection of slaves that are kept as donors, and when a royal or noble person loses a body part, they are forcibly taken from the slaves. That day, Erito chooses a slave with an oak hand and screams in agony as his hand gets removed. Afterward, the hand arrives for Hall, and as the doctors attach it to his body, Nizo offers himself to find Saro to avenge his brother. However, he does this to manipulate and trigger Hall's ego, saying that others might find him less of a man if he let the culprit be. True enough, Hall takes the bait and orders Erito to pack their things for their journey to find Sorrow. Hall plans to travel in disguise, and he'll get himself painted to look like a commoner. Although he'll be crowned Karo that night, he believes the journey cannot wait. As the prince leaves, Grok reassures Nizo that they'll get Erito on their side. Not only this, but they'll also make him do their dirty work. For Hall's preparation, he gets himself painted in Erito's house. There, Erito's children, Zath and Daya, are annoying him, saying that he's painting himself because he's scared of the Zerits. At the same time, Erito gazes upon their newly carved baby, and he reminds his wife Aika to take good care of herself and the children. Unbeknownst to them, Grok is lurking in the walls, and he secretly takes Zath's sleeping bird. That night, Gina and Hall put up a funeral for their father. As his body gets placed among the previous Karos, Hall promises that Hebel will never be at peace until he cuts off the last string of the Zerits. After this, Hall proclaims never to let anyone enter or leave Hebelon until he has found Sorrow. While he's gone, Nizo will rule in his place. The next day, Hall and Erito set out to leave Hebelon. As the young prince bids her sister farewell, she can't help but plead with him not to go. She holds on to Hall's strings, saying his departure will be her death. However, Hall is determined, and he leaves despite her plea. Later on, Hall and Erito arrive in a marshland filled with amputated slaves. The army has taken their strings and some of their functional body parts. There are children among them, and they're also bred to become slaves. Then, Erito suggests that they should make camp for the night. Suddenly, Hall wanders off, and Grok appears before Erito, threatening him with Nizo's words. He must not return to Hebelon with Hall alive. If he resists, he'll never see his family again. 
Erito opposes and attempts to attack Grog, but he leaps into a tree and tosses Zat's sleeping bird to threaten him further. Later that night, Erito attempts to kill Hall in his sleep. However, he doesn't go through with it. Back in Hebelon, Zath and Daya are in the palace's main hall, looking for the sleeping bird. Then, Aika arrives, and the children purposely tangle themselves as a diversion. As Aika untangles them, Zath accidentally kicks the table that the Karu wrote on before he died. Suddenly, the bottle of ink topples over, seeping into the paper. This reveals the engraved note that the Karu wrote for Hal. When Aika sees this, she immediately gets shocked. Elsewhere, Gina takes a bath with her pet bird, Ola. Unbeknownst to her, Grok is observing her in a dark corner. Just then, Aika arrives, and she immediately reports the truth about the Karo's death. Aika suggests that Hall and Erito must see the letter, so she tells Gina to meet her by the city gates before midnight. In the Great Market, a woman named Zeta observes Hall as he arrives with Erito. Erito tells Hall to stay put while he goes to the One String to ask for counsel. Just then, Zeta overhears that Hall is in search of the Zerits. Meanwhile, Erito speaks with the One String, a group of old wise men who can see the future. They tell him to kill Hall because he's bound to continue generations of wickedness, just like his father. With this, he must take Hall to the lake of a thousand dead warriors, and there, he must become an offering of peace. Outside, Hall watches in shock as the people joyfully dismantle the statue of his father. Then, Zeta approaches him, confirming if he's looking for the Zerits. Suddenly, Erito arrives and tells Hall they must head to the lake of a thousand dead warriors. The young prince tries to tell Erito about Zeta, but she suddenly disappears. Back in Hebelon, Gina secretly heads to the city gates. After she distracts the guards, she immediately embraces Aika, but she gets horrified upon finding that it's actually Nizo. Ola tries to defend her, but Nizo easily kicks her to the wall. Then, as Nizo is about to cut Gina's strings, Grok appears and warns Nizo about their agreement. With this, Gina is saved, but she's put in prison along with Aika and her children. There, life comes to Aika's baby, but she's too weak to attach the strings herself. Because of this, Gina volunteers to help. She recites her blessings and carefully fastens the strings to the little one until she comes to life. After this, Aika and the baby get separated from Gina. Meanwhile, Erito and Hal struggle to get to the lake of a thousand dead warriors. After a perilous journey, they finally see a frozen lake with numerous corpses. Back in Hebelon, Gina is put in chains, and Grok appears to reveal the truth about his crippled appearance. He was the Karo's commander-in-chief, and Gina was promised to him. But when he led a defeated battle against the Zerits in the north of the Nordessa forest, the Karo was enraged. As they retreated into the lake of a thousand dead warriors, they came upon a caravan of Zerith women and children. Angry upon his defeat, the Karo ordered Grok to kill the women and children. When he refused, the Karo attacked him. He cut all of Grok's strings, except for his head string and one arm. Then, he abandoned him in the lake, and if he returns to Hebelon, he is allowed to live. After that, the Karo killed all the helpless women and children. Later on, Grok returns to Hebelon alive, but he has to take the only available parts that can replace his amputated limbs. Now that he is back in power, he can choose any decent parts to replace his crooked appearance, and he even makes Gina pick the parts from the available slaves. In the Lake of a Thousand Dead Warriors, Erito tells Hall the truth about his father's killings. As Hall expresses his sympathy for the corpses, Erito attacks him, but he manages to dodge it. Then, they get into an intense fight, and Erito is filled with guilt as he attacks his friend. Suddenly, Hall's weapon halts before Erito's headstring, and he forces him to reveal the truth about his betrayal, but Erito doesn't answer. Instead, he asks Hall to spare his life for his family. With this, Hall slowly backs away while expressing anger toward Erito's treachery. As Hall walks into a snowstorm, he finds a boy drowning in the lake. He immediately jumps to the rescue, but when he emerges from the water alongside the boy, he discovers that the Zerits have him surrounded. The Zerits immediately hold Hall captive, and Erito observes this in the distance. Later on, the Zerits force him to reveal the truth about his identity. They think he's a Hebelonian spy because of the sword he carries. However, Hall denies everything and says he's a nomad traveling west to escape the war that Hebelon wages. With this, he is set free, and Zeta suddenly appears to thank him for saving her brother's life. Then, she finally introduces herself. Elsewhere, Erito draws nearer to Hebelon, 
Meanwhile, Grok finally has his dream body together, and Nizo proudly introduces him to Gina. Meanwhile, Hall and Zeta watch a group of leaping dancers portraying the sea ads from Abagos. Abagos is a lost city that the Hebelonians took from the Zerat's ancestors. Hall is shocked to know this, but then he asks how the Zerats are able to leap. Then, Zeta shows him that everyone's string is connected. When one ascends, another descends, and vice versa. Zeta adds that if he's guided with love and unity, then he can do as the Zerats do. Later that night, the two become intimate, and they make love under the moonlight. After this, Zeta visits an elder named Agra. Agra tells her about the vision that Sidian, their creator, showed him in a dream. Strings will fall to earth, and the sky will be set ablaze. He also talks about a man of gold who will guide his people through these times. Not long after, Agra dies of old age. The next day, the Zerats hold a ceremony for Agra, and Hall remembers his initial plan to kill Sorrow. As he lurks in the trees, ready to attack, Sorrow removes his mask, revealing himself as Zeta. Then, he attempts to flee, but the Zerits capture him, thinking he's actually a spy. Filled with rage, he reveals himself to be Hal Tara, and he's there to avenge the Karo's death. Then, Zeta scratches Hal's face with her sword, revealing his golden color. Remembering the vision, she reminds Hal that if he's not bound in love, then he's tied in hate. With this, the Zerats set Hal free, but he is to be left in the desert to rot. Meanwhile, Erito has returned to Hebelon, only to find that Grok has taken his place as Commander-in-Chief. Erito has already revealed the location of the Zerats, and Nizo commands Grok to wipe them all out once and for all. With this, Erito gets put in jail along with his family. There, he sees his family along with their baby. Aika asks him if Hall will save them, but Erito only says that Hebelon is a closed city, and only slave drivers can get inside. True enough, a group of slave drivers has captured Hall in the desert. There, he is forced to pull a heavy wagon along with some other slaves, and they're bound to Hebelon. One slave recognizes Hall as Akaro's son, because his hand has been amputated for him. Back in Hebelon, Gina motivates Ola to fly. If only she could fly, then she could set both of them free. However, Grok arrives and tells Gina that the Zerats killed Hall. However, she can feel it in her strings that Hall is alive, and he will return. She adds that in a dream, she saw Sidian as an old Zerith, and some people are bound together, like her and Hall. Then, she asks Grok whom he is bound for, because she knows it's not her. Because of this, she can never be his. Hearing this, Grok claims that he cannot help her, then leaves. Meanwhile, Hall is dumped in jail along with the other slaves. There, he sees Erito and Aika, and she immediately tells him the truth about the Karo's death. At the same time, Gina is shown to the people for public execution. In jail, Hall realizes that they have been the enemy all this time. However, Ola appears, and Hall finds out that something has happened to Gina. When he attempts to climb from his own strings, he sees the mark of the Zerats on the prison floors, and realizes that Abagos truly existed. Suddenly, he slips and falls back down, but he remembers the words of Zeta, and this fueled him to acquire the ability to leap. Then, Hall kills all of the guards and sets everyone free. On the other hand, Gina's strings have already been cut, and all that's left of her is her head string. Then, Nizo slightly slices the remaining string, but Hall appears and slices the strings to Nizo's limbs. Gina is now on the brink of death, and before her head string breaks, she reminds Hall to live with peace and love, like what their father wanted. Just then, Gina dies, and Hall screams in despair. At that moment, Nizo attempts to attack Hall, but Erito stops him. However, Nizo says it's too late, because Grok is already on his way to kill the Zerats. With this, he challenges Hall to kill him, but Hall spares him, living by his father's last mission. Meanwhile, Grok and his army have arrived in the Nordessa forest, and he plans to burn his way through. Shortly after, the forest is set ablaze, and Zeta and the Zerats prepare for battle. Then, Grok finally infiltrates the camp, but the Zerats are nowhere to be found. However, he knows they haven't left. As he looks up, he spots Zeta hiding in a tree, but the Zerats activate their traps, and the Hebelonian soldiers fall right into it. Then, the Zerats descend from their hiding spot, and the battle begins. Later on, Zeta fights the enemy, but she eventually gets outnumbered. Grok wants her alive, and when he removes her mask, he gets surprised that Sorrow is a woman. As he attempts to kill her, Hall comes to the rescue. Because of this, Hall takes Grok head on. Amid the chaos, Nizo struggles to flee Hebelon. Meanwhile, a fierce duel has sparked between Grok and Hall. At first, Grok gains the upper hand, but Hall doesn't surrender, and he puts Grok's strings on fire. With this, Grok slowly weakens and dies. The same fate falls among the Hebelonian soldiers as the Zerats burn them to death. Then, the sky is set ablaze, and thousands of strings fall from the sky. After the battle, Hall approaches Zeta and warmly welcomes her and the Zerats back to Abagos. The next day, 
Hall and the rest of the kingdom host a ceremony for Gina. Everyone mourns for her passing, and as Hall watches her drift into the distance, Zita reassures him that she is now truly free. However, Ola can't bear to leave her, so she accompanies Gina's body. Then, with Gina's words, Ola's strings miraculously break loose, and she flies into the sky. Finally, Ola has fulfilled Gina's wishes to set both of them free. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.